Hey guys, welcome to the 33rd C programming tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to begin working on a report card program and all this report card program is going to do is ask the user for a student's name and their grade in four subjects then it's just going to go ahead and calculate the student's overall average and print that back out to the user alright and we're going to be using a structure to do this even though you really don't need to it's just that we need a little bit more practice using structures alright so let's just go ahead and create this struct up here so we're going to say type def um, type def struct and then we're just going to go ahead and call this struct report card and inside of this struct we're just going to store on um, the student's grade and we're going to be storing the student's grade as a character pointer or a character array so I'm going to say car star name then we just need to store four integers the student's grade in English, history, science, and math. So we're just going to say int science grade, um, history grade, math grade, and finally English grade. All right. So here inside of the struct, we just have the student's name and their grade in these four subjects. All right, now let's just go ahead and create a function that will calculate the student's overall average and then print all that information back out to the user. So we're just going to create the function prototype right here. So we're going to say void because this function isn't going to be returning any information to the caller. All it's going to be doing is just printing information out onto the screen. And then we're just going to go ahead and call this function print report card. And then this function is going to take one parameter and it's just going to take a report card. So we're going to say report card, and we're actually going to make this a pointer to report card. So we're just going to say report card pointer, and then I'll just call this RC for report card. And the reason that we're going to be making this a pointer is because the size of any pointer is only 4 bytes, whereas the size of this entire struct right here is 20 bytes. So if we were to make this not a pointer, then we'd have to copy over 20 bytes over to the function, and most functions that use structures often ask for the address just simply so that they don't have to pass around all the bytes of the actual structure. They only need the four bytes, uh, which is the address of the structure. All right, so we're just going to go ahead right here and now create the actual function. So we're going to go ahead and copy this and just paste it down here and just put the two curly braces after it. So inside of here is where we're just going to put all the code for our print report card function. So the first thing that we need to do is just calculate the student's overall average. So I'm going to say int average. And then to calculate the overall average, we just need to add up all these grades right here and then divide it by four since there are four grades. So we're just going to say RC. And since this is a pointer right here, in order to access the variables inside of this structure, we have to use an arrow instead of a dot. So anytime that you're working with a structure that is a pointer or a pointer to a structure, you need to use the arrow operator in order to access the variables inside of it. So now we can just do arrow science grade plus RC arrow um, history grade and then plus RC arrow math grade and then finally plus RC arrow English grade. So here we're just adding up the student's science, history, math, and English grades. Now we just need to divide all these grades by 4 to get the average. So divided by 4. Alright, and now we just need to print out the student's name along with their overall average. So we're just going to come down here and say printf um, student's uh, name and then since the student's name is stored as a string we just need to do percent %s and then on a new line we're just going to say overall uh, grade and then we're just going to print out the average so percent %i since the average is stored as an integer and then we'll just go ahead and do the student's name since we just want to print out the student's name right here so we're going to replace this percent %s with the student's name so we're going to say rc arrow name because this RC up here is a pointer so we have to use this arrow right here in order to access this name variable alright and then we just need to print out the average and this average is just stored in this average variable right here so we're just gonna say average alright 
So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to finish up this program. All right, so see you guys.